Welcome back to my channel. I want to thank my brothers and my sisters who have taken time out of their busy schedule to watch our video and subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done that yet, please encourage us by subscribing to our channel. You can also honor us by liking, sharing and commenting on our videos. Because together we will work with our leader, Mazen Namdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to bring freedom to Biafra land and put our enemies to shame. The Southeast governors of Biafra are seriously under pressure from their Fulani Nigerian government masters for allowing IPOB and Eastern Security Network to chase out Fulani terrorist Mayetiala out of Ebony State. The Nigerian military and police now have taken the place of Fulani Mayetiala terrorists to fight IPOB and Eastern Security Network. And the Nigerian military have recorded losses. Some accounts say they have recorded losses over 200 of their men. The Fulani slave governor of Ebony State confirmed this in one of his interviews to a Nigerian news media where he pleaded with the Fulani terrorist Mayeti Allah not to come back to Ebony State for now because IPOB and Eastern Security Networks are having superior power and the Efulefu governor hopes that and prays that one day the table will turn and the Nigerian military will be able to overrun Eastern Security Network. But the Nigerian army are also on the run because of the superior power of Eastern Security Network and IPOB. Our leader Mazen Amdekanu told this stupid Ebony governor some years ago or some time ago that IPOB will chase out terrorist Mayetiala out of Ebony State and he thought our leader was joking and right now he, it has come to pass. Not only that it has come to pass, he himself, Dave Umayi, confessed to that. This is why we must believe our leader, Mazen Namdekanu, when he said Biafra will be free. It will be free indeed. In no matter of time, it will be free. Very soon, it will be free. The Southeast governors, out of fear from their slave masters, the Fulani Caliphate and the Fulani Nigerian Presidency, have now resorted to the use of their cowardice and wicked and shameful tactics of abducting, kidnapping, and killing innocent Biafran youth at the wee of the night between the hours of 5, 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. when Biafrans are defenseless and still sleeping on their bed. They use the repentant terrorist Boko Haram and Fulani bandits that the Nigerian government had integrated into the Nigerian military, police, and DSS to carry out these wicked plans and kidnappings. They also used some of the youth coppers as informants, and our leaders have warned the youth coppers they should not allow the Janjaweed Fulani use them for these wicked assignments because it might spell doom for them. So they should desist from that and do what they have asked them to do in the state, which is to support the community that they are. They shouldn't be used as informants. The Southeast Governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, and his Abia State counterpart, Okeze Pazu, are the slave the Fulanis are using to perpetrate these wicked plans. Our leader, Mazen Amdekano, have won the governors, and now they are on the run. They are on the run. 
like their friend, the little Hitler, Governor Nyemson Wike, and the Serikin Fulani of Imo State, Hope Uzodema, and Dave Umehi. Our leader, Mazen Amdekano, won the Nigerian Police AIG for Zone 9, A Team NN Okon, a useless Biafran who led the police invasion in November 2017 at Afaruku, our leader's compound, and was responsible for the demise of our leader's parents and 28 innocent young Biafrans. Mazen Amdekano won the new AIG, Okon, that he should be removed from the force he should be arrested and prosecuted for his crime against Biafrans within 14 days, or else all hell will be let loose in Abia State. We shall teach our enemies the lesson that history will reveal over and over again, like the story of Israel in the Bible. Let us support our leader, Mazen Amdekano, and take the war to Biafran slaves. The Fulani Janjaweed are using to stop our freedom struggle and embolden the terrorist Fulanis. The Biafran slaves, with their acts, they are emboldening the Fulani terrorists so that they will do more and maim and massacre and kill Biafrans. But this time around, the war will be taken to them. And that is why you can see that majority of them are on the run. Some of them are sleeping in the military barracks. But very soon that will not save them, because we will bring the war to them. They cannot be having peace, and Biafrans are being maimed and killed. They also will taste part of it. Anambra State is the hotbed of adoption, and the slave governor Obiano must be held responsible and must pay for his crimes. Obiano was boasting that he killed Biafran youths at Umpo and have invited the same killer Fulani Nigerian military and police to do the same thing that they did to Biafrans. Atumbo. Just as the new AIG, Eti Mokon, was boasting that he would kill more Biafran youth as he did in 2017, these Fulani slaves must be fished out. They must be found and sent to God for judgment for their crimes against the children of light, Biafrans. Just imagine. They are receiving instructions from the Fulani Nigerian government who recently, that was yesterday, declared their total support for their terrorist communication minister, Isa Pantami, that have caused a lot of death in the zoo called Nigeria, killing Nigerian Christians. And still, the Fulani Nigerian government declare their total support for him. And the Fulani slave governors in Southeast and other Biafran provinces are also receiving instructions from dumb Fulani senators that want to give cows and goats ID cards. You know, they have not given humans ID cards, but they want to give ID cards to cow and goats and wear it on their neck. It is now glaring that our governors and the Fulani slaves in Biafra land are cursed and they must perish with the zoo called Nigeria. To curb this cowardice abduction of Biafrans from their sleep at night, our leader Mazen Amdekano have warned that there shall be no vehicular movement between the hours of 12 a.m. to 5 a.m., starting from April 22, 2021, until further notice. He also warned the parents of the youth coppers 
in Biafra land to warn their children not to allow themselves be used as informants to the Fulani, Janjaweed, military and police. Our leader also warned landlords in Biafra land that they must verify their potential tenants. Check them, do background check, proper background check before renting their houses to, to them so that they will not rent houses to Fulani terrorists, Nigerian military police or DSS who are on the mission to put danger in our land, to kill our people. So our landlords must ensure that they are not the ones that the Fulanese are using to endanger the lives of Biafrans. Any Nigerian military or police or DSS found in Biafran villages must be eliminated because they are the repentant Boko Haram and Fulani terrorist bandits that the Nigerian government integrated into the Nigerian military and police and they are the ones that have been sent to Biafran villages to massacre Biafrans. The plan of the Fulani Nigerian government and their Biafran slaves is to deplete IPOB and Eastern Security Network. They are also churning out false news. For example, they claim that the fight for freedom in Biafran land has increased because the Nigerian government refused to share money with those behind the agitation. They have been asked by IPOB to publish and release the names of those they claim have come to ask for money. But up till now, they have not released any name, which shows that the Nigerian government are known liars, looking for cheap blackmail, you know, to to destroy IPOB and Eastern Security Network, but that will not work. The Serikin Fulani of Imo State, Hope Uzodima, confessed that Ebu Beagu was created to spy and give information to Nigerian military, to Nigerian police, and the Fulani Caliphate, and it was not formed to provide security for Biafrans. You see why we must not trust these our foolish governors. They are being controlled by illiterate Fulanese who will go any length to defend their Fulani terrorists. If the slave governor of Anambra state refused to stop those cowardice abduction of Biafrans, in their sleep, then there won't be any electioneering or election in November 2021 in Anambra State. Enough of this nonsense. This was a statement made by our leader, Mazi Namdekanu. The Fulani Nigerian government thinks looting money will help them keep everyone eyes away from their oppression on Biafrans and other non-Fulani tribes. But they were shocked that after the military failed them, their looted money is also failing them. And this is because all the money they paid to consultants, you know, to lobby for them internationally are all in vain. They never expected the kind of support our leader Mazin Namdekanu, IPOB, Eastern Security Network are receiving locally and globally. Our leader Mazin Namdekanu hasn't given order to kill Nigerian military or police before mischief makers will now twist his word to suit their narrative. He only gave order that the terrorists in Nigerian military, police and DSS, 
are to be that are sent to Biafra land to massacre and abduct Biafras are the ones to be killed because they are terrorists. We must not we must suffer not a wish to live. They are all witches, they must not live. The Janjaweed Fulanese brought tribalism and wickedness into Nigerian politics, military, and police. They brought terrorism and insecurity into Nigeria to help them rule Nigeria permanently. If IPOB and Eastern Security Network can defeat Fulani Meyetiala terrorists, which is the terrorist armed group of the Fulani Nigerian government, then there is nothing that will stop or can stop Biafran freedom. Thank you for watching my video. Please watch out for the next and bye-bye.